friends from Lowell inspired by their own transformative camp experience. Yes, so much so that they started a free summer program for city kids. In tonight's Five for Good, we take you to the Lowell Youth Leadership Program. Let's go! This is a camp that has it all. Swim lessons, swinging lessons, climbing, carpentry, robotics, and more. It's just fun. Basketball, golf, volleyball. The counselors, they're very, very nice. They always have a smile on their faces. It is also completely free with meals and transportation. For 33 plus pro, uh, activities that the kids are going to expose to. Andres Lopez is the program director at the Lowell Youth Leadership Program, LYLP. He explains kids here are also taught to reflect and communicate. How do we increase tune building, you know, advocacy, public speaking. Are we ready to work as a team? The camp, hosted at Greater Lowell Technical High, is modeled after one Andres attended as a kid. Hey, make sure we show that bling. Along with LYLP founders Larry Wilson and Sam Hoare. Their friendship started with a diving mishap at age 11. Uh, when he actually hit the water, he impacted and uh, <laughs> he uh, bloodied his nose. And I was the only one who was part of the group that Every, said, Everybody hey. was clapping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Larry was the only one who was like, hey, your nose is bleeding. Summer camp was transformational for both Larry and Sam, whose parents, immigrants from Cambodia, couldn't afford extras. The main thing is survival. So when I got to the camp, you know, I was able to see, you know, different type of breakfast, different types of lunch, different activities like golf, tennis, stuff that I would have never thought about doing because I lived in the projects like Larry did as well. That camp ultimately lost funding. For years, both talked about starting a new program. We always knew that the community needed something um, or some type of other program other than, you know, the normal line MCAs and the Boys and Girls Clubs that was very progressive in learning that we're going to give inner city kids enrichment skills and core life skills. Be the best version of yourself every, every day. Campers know they're experiencing something special. Being able to meet new friends, you know, just doing different activities. Without this opportunity, I would, you know, probably be at my house all day. Negative behaviors occur, the kids are bored. LYLP appears to be a magnet for those who just want to do good. You want to be my partner? Pretty much everyone here volunteers. I'm doing what they're doing. Like Ken Hughes. He's a former Lowell golf champ. I think golf's a great activity. A lot of discipline involves self-discipline, all the things that we stand for here. You want a hamburger? Yeah. The meals, they're often donated by local businesses. On this day, the owner of Benny's Backyard Barbecue was treating. For, for the kids, always for the kids. Larry and Sam, they have regular day jobs. This is their passion. Meantime, they're just thankful for all the support. And we're just, you know, I would say we're grateful. Right? Very. Very grateful. So this year, LYLP ran for three and a half weeks. Tomorrow's the last day of the season. They served some 170 campers ages 10 to 14. The goal is to one day run for six weeks, serve up to 400 kids, and already there are opportunities for older teens to become paid counselors. And we have lots of information on WCVB.com.